Hey guys, I'm the one you lost, and in this video I'm going to show you how I made this artwork of Bay from Hollow Life. So this one was interesting. I didn't start out with the idea of having tattoos there. It was going to be just kind of a basic, like, um, tease type of artwork. But as it went on, I, I remembered I had these tattoo stamps or, like, brush packs, and I was like, well, I can't not use this. <laughs> so that's ended up being what happened. Um, the reference I had, I, I took a lot of uh, inspiration from it to the point where it was pretty close to what I uh, saw online. The difference was I wanted to change uh, certain aspects of the pose. And um, it, it was definitely interesting. Uh, I definitely showed the hands more than they uh, did. But it, it wasn't the same. Um, what's, the, what's the word I'm looking for? It, it wasn't the same thing. It was kind of a similar vibe. I, I basically had the idea for the hoodie and the hands, and then just kind of figured out what I wanted to do differently. And if I'm going to be honest, it wasn't much. I, I liked the pose a whole lot, and I just wanted to do my rendition of it. And if anything, I may have gone too close to originally what I saw, but for the most part, I think I did pretty good. I changed the colors, changed uh, the stretch. I did draw it from scratch, even though I took a lot of inspiration from the pose. But, you know, it's one of those things that it's a very iffy gray area, I would say, I went on this time. But the difference was I the reason I ended up adding the um, the the background and the tattoos was because I wanted to make the focus something completely different instead of like the under boob being the focus. I instead wanted the tattoos to be the focus and just have that extra little spiciness of the under boob there with it, if that makes uh, any sense to you at all. Also, I, I changed the the hoodie and the well the top and the uh bottoms into kind of athletic wear but very baggy athletic wear it was my first time drawing baggier clothes that are a bit um a bit thicker so i had to like do the um the shading a specific way and i kind of i think i did all right i, I definitely wasn't perfect but I'm, I'm getting better at clothes it's just taking a while also, good news for those of you that are waiting on my tutorials coming out. I, I'm hiring an editor for these particular videos to help make them more interesting and help get my ideas to be a lot more solid. So hopefully when, when they come out, they'll actually be good because if I'm being real, I suck at editing. It's why there's minimal editing on my videos. And it's also why I'm willing to dig into my own pocket a little bit and pay for an editor and somebody who is able to do much better at this than me. And I think that's important because I want to give you guys good videos and someone a job at the same time. It's just going to be tricky because I can't use them for every video because I'm a broke boy. <laughs> so I have to use my editor sparingly. But I'm currently shopping around for editors right now. Um, I'm trying to stay off Fiverr because I want to pay somebody what they're worth and I feel like Fiverr artist like sell themselves short but if I do end up having to use Fiverr uh if I do end up having to use uh Fiverr I'll, I'll I'll go ahead and do it but I'd like to avoid it if all possible um you'll notice I use very thin lines for my line art is this is a preference of mine to make sure that the rendering stands out more than the lines themselves even though I work very hard on the lines um I am making it a point to uh make sure that they look good and even if they're thin um i would actually recommend if you choose to do line art because you don't have to uh you'd be surprised how many people don't use line art for their artworks and it still turns out great but if you choose to do it my recommendation would be to make line art that isn't copying what's already there but is enhancing what's already there um usually i take creative liberties with my line art once it's time to uh start the lining a big thing I'll do is I'll add line thickness and very smooth lines. And the way I do that is with a, with a stabilizer on my pen. And this, is, this exists on pretty much any art program. Uh, you have to get external tools on things like Photoshop because Photoshop is more for photo editing, not necessarily artwork. But it can be used for artwork. You just have to go a little bit further than maybe you're comfortable with. So... Uh, it's it's definitely possible. It's just a bit more complex on Photoshop. But yes, stabilizers, pen pressure sensitivity, and uh, pressure ramps are super important. 
I actually give away my uh, pens for uh, free that I use. Basically, my most commonly used uh, brushes and pens I have for available for free download if you request them in the comments. Also, if you're enjoying the video so far, do me a favor. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. It helps me out more than you'll know. Um, I, also, if you want to see um, a tutorial in the future, talk about it in the comments. What would you like to see me do a tutorial on? Um, I will say stay away from anatomy, at least until I figure it out a bit more. Because anatomy is a very broad concept. You can't get an entire anatomy lesson in one video. It would have to be a whole series. And I'm not opposed to making that series. I, If um, in the near future during my learning sessions with anatomy, I might be able to make videos on them. So there's always a chance I do a video on anatomy, but it's going to be a series of videos, not just one video. But yeah, if you would like to uh, talk to me in the comments, I respond to all comments. Um... Uh, Every now and then, I usually don't receive mean comments, but sometimes you get them, and for the most part, I just hide those. So if you're wondering um, why uh, something is gone, I it takes a lot for me to hide a video. I'm usually very cor like very cordial, but I've learned that if I'm going to read the comment section and there's somebody purposely being antagonistic, if it's unrelated to the video or is an attack on me personally, I usually don't do anything about them. Um, it's only when somebody breaks the rules of my Discord server or attacks somebody else in the comments that I get upset. Um, for the most part, I'm a big boy. I can take it. Um, it's not a big deal if people don't agree with what I do. That's completely fine, but just leave each other alone, if that makes sense. So now we're adding the base colors, and I'm going for kind of a, uh, Notice how the hair, even though it's like flowing just slightly, it's mostly stiff. And that was done on purpose in this particular artwork. Um, I wanted the motion to kind of move in a very S-like shape. And you'll notice the body is in kind of an S-like shape as well. Everything is moving toward the, uh, the center. It, it kind of moves your eye around. Uh, this is a basic composition that I really love, the S-shape. And... Also, the focus, if you'll notice, being on the stomach and the tattoo, everything kind of like moves back to that center line. And it's it's just one of those things that I really love the S shape. Uh, it's my favorite form of composition. I always like adding things that kind of point to the face or the stomach or wherever I want people to look. It's a uh, it's something that I really spend a lot of time learning how to do. Um, there, there are other forms of composition. There's the focal point, the diagonal line, the uh, the golden ratio. There, there's so many cool ones. Um, actually, something you might find interesting is there's something called the silver ratio, which is the Asian or kind of the, the Asian area's version of um, the golden ratio. The golden ratio is more Western, but the silver ratio is what, for the longest time, artists in the Asian areas used. It's actually cool. I, I didn't know about it until about four years ago when I was like, oh, there's something brand new here. That's freaking awesome. I'm going to take a look at that. Another good one is rule of thirds. Also, if you'll notice, um, the, the material that I'm trying to draw here is a lot chunkier, but the reason I have a gradient on it is usually more soft material has more harsh gradients and a lot less, um, hard lines, but I definitely uh, kind of got it, kind of didn't get it, but it, it turned out all right, if that makes sense. It, it wasn't perfect, but it is what it is. Um, I added a little bit of the glow from the skin back on reflecting to the clothes. That's something that I personally do with my artworks. I think it kind of blends the colors together nicely and makes it look very good. Um, now we're adding the multiply layer to the hair. We're going to make some changes and kind of figure out what we want the lighting to be on the hair. Um, I need to start taking my time with hair and learning to take breaks before I do it. Same with the eyes, because it, it turns out better when I do them first versus last. But yeah, now we're doing the eyes and we are so close to being finished. We can almost taste it. Um, I did um, colors that are more saturated. They're, they're my favorite types of colors to do saturated colors. Um, we're doing some slight correction here, making some edits to the shadows 
And uh, here pretty soon, I'm pretty sure we're going to start doing some post-processing. But I decided we're going to do a background that's very blurred, but kind of gives the subtle idea that there is a uh, city behind her. Um, now we're doing the tonal curve processing, some ad glow, color balance, some screen layers. And so here's where I add the texture to the clothes. Um, I ended up changing it later on, but for the most part, it worked. Now I'm just kind of looking through my files, and there it is. If you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. Helps out a whole lot. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Thank you, at Cooper White Shield, Rubeb, Prismic, Prismatic, sorry, 420 Zidan, Emilin, Beer, Night Angel, Andy Scaldito, Shane, Roxa, Zaret, Dalton Lily, Fainer T. Hager, Tomps Double O, Zip, Matthew C., and Dallas Long. Thank you so much for supporting me on Patreon, guys. Bye.